The restricted section scene was filmed in the Duke Humphreys building at the Bodleian Library in Oxford. There are very strict rules about not bringing flames into the library. The makers of this movie were the first ever to be allowed to break this rule in hundreds of years. So I remember when I first saw this movie years and years ago, it was such a magical experience for me as a kid and even now as an adult. I find so much joy and happiness just immersing myself in just the magical world of Harry Potter. And here are my three favorite things about this movie. The first thing I love about this movie is the world building, starting all the way from platform nine and three quarters, just how cool that scene was, and just how Harry gets to experience what it's like to be a part of the Wizarding World, a world he had no idea existed. And then of course, the first time we see Hogwarts, as the students are heading on the boats to Hogwarts, just the first shot of the building is very, very special. It's very, very magical. And then you get the banquet hall scene, which of course, I'm sure everybody who loves Harry Potter has always wanted to be at Hogwarts mainly for the food because the banquet hall scenes look like so much fun. The food looks so good. Then you have all the professors, you have all the cool school things. There's just so many aspects to this world and Harry's exploring them all for the first time. And just how magical and how awesome this world really is when you just think about like you want to be at Hogwarts, you want to be playing Quidditch, you want to be going to these classes, you want to be learning spells and, and raising plants and seeing all these cool creatures and you know you just want to experience this magical time with everybody else and this movie does a phenomenal job of just bringing the viewer in. The second strongest part of this movie are the characters but also the actors who play the characters. The casting in this movie is like dang near perfect. I mean there isn't anybody in this movie I would think of being cast as somebody else. Because a lot of people going into this movie they have high expectations because they read the books. You know they're envisioning what these characters are going to look like on the big screen and they're hoping that they're not disappointed by the actor who's portraying them. There's a lot of comedy involved in this first movie. It's pretty lighthearted compared to all the other Harry Potter movies. But of course we do get to some dark aspects of some characters in the movie, some, some of the story of the movie gets a little darker. But for the most part it's a very upbeat, joyful movie. And I just really love the story. Just following Harry through, you know, from the very beginning of the movie to the very end, just how much of his life has changed. You know, if you really think about it, how much Harry went through, 11 years of his life, just how he was treated, belittled, where he lived, he didn't have any freedoms, he didn't have any friends, they never celebrated his birthday, they never celebrated Christmas with him, he never got birthday gifts, he never got Christmas gifts, no one ever sent him any letters, he basically didn't exist. You know what Harry's going to become, but you, we, when you see how he started, it just makes his character just really stand out, and he had a pretty good arc in the movie, at the very end of the movie, he knew that when he went back to his aunt and uncle's house, that wasn't really his home. He had a new home. He had Hogwarts. He had so many friends there, tons of professors who cared for him and loved him. So it just, it just really made me smile at the end every time I see that scene, because he understood that it's just a temporary thing living at home now. He's not a prisoner anymore. He actually has freedom. He can go to a place where he is valued as a human being. Honestly, I would say my favorite moment in the movie. It would probably be the Quidditch scene. One, seeing Quidditch being played is really, really cool. It's basically like rugby in the air. Just really seeing Harry discover who he is, all above and beyond he goes to get the snitch, to, to really go all out, and just how he's building that confidence up of who he is, because he has no idea about any of this stuff. He has no idea what he can do, what he's capable of, and he's not a afraid kid anymore. He's unafraid. He's a completely different guy from the very beginning of the movie. Six levels to Harry and you know what he's destined for. I highly recommend check out Sorcerer's Stone again because it really is just a magical, nostalgic trip. So for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten mud flaps. And leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below who is your favorite character from this movie. See you next time.